we go, we're losing self-control I keep telling myself, but I don't wanna let you know Is this what we become? The strangers on the run Looking for something, chasing the sun So this is the official Nokia ROM on Redmi Note 5 Pro I have been using this ROM from last few days and you have to watch the full video to get a clear idea how it performs, how is the gaming performance, RAM management and everything. This is an official nightly ROM and Moki ROM was fairly popular in the past too. Download links in order to flash this ROM will be listed in the description box below so don't worry. So in the quick settings panel we have the screenshot option and you can edit a bunch of quick toggles from here. You can just disable heads up if you want to and toggle night mode etc from here. Now let me show you the display settings. Auto brightness or adaptive brightness is working fine over here in this ROM. In live display we have some color profile options in here. You can thoroughly adjust contrast saturation and stuff like that of the screen from here and you can even calibrate the RGB colors from here. Moving on to style, from here you can change the whole UI color to look dark or light and you get these many accent color options. Here we have the full screen app options like MIUI which will force particular apps to take advantage of the full 18 to 9 display. You can enable this action for each apps if it doesn't support 18 to 9 display natively. We have double tap to wake on the screen and double tap to sleep on the status bar. As you can see both work super fine here. Let me show you the about section now. As you can see it's running on android audio 8.1, running on latest june 5th 2018 security patch and here is the stock kernel version. Now let me show you the customizations here. Let's go to buttons. In long press actions we don't have a lot of options like other ROMs. You cannot just set things like taking a screenshot by long pressing on the menu key which I really really miss over here. And here is how the on screen buttons looks like. You can even invert the layout from here as you can see. And here is how the home button animation looks like and Google Assistant is of course working fine here. We even have Google Lens feature here so you don't have to worry about it. Now we have long pressing of the power button to toggle torch option while the screen is off and as you can see it is working fine over here. Here we have some volume buttons and volume related customizations. Now let's move on to the status bar customizations. Here we have quick pull down and you can change it from which side you want it and as you can see pulling from the right expands the quick toggles fully. We have a default network indicator and in system icons you can find the icons like headset, bluetooth etc but note that there is no Volti icon but actually the Volti works super fine here so you don't have to worry about it. We have the status bar brightness control over here and let me show you that it works fine in this ROM. You can just swipe a finger on the status bar to adjust the brightness of the screen. So that's all for the customizations in this ROM as of now and in advanced we have this camera to API enabling option here which is cool to use apps like Google camera modes and stuff. But sadly I have to say I could not get it to work. I tried rebooting the phone after enabling it and installed google camera mods and cleared cache and stuff but no luck. It simply did not work for me. By the way this rom has snapdragon camera app by default which works fine for taking casual pictures or videos. So now let me open up a few apps to show you guys the app open up speeds over here on this rom and let me show you how is the ram management of this rom. Strangers on the run Looking for something 
As you can see, all the apps are in memory and in daily driving too, I did not find any issues while switching between apps. One most disappointing thing though, banking apps like Taze simply doesn't work over here at least for now. To be honest, this ROM is great if you want the least amount of customizations like an alternative to Lineage OS. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a video on unofficial Lineage OS as it's not official yet for Redmi Note 5 Pro. And the battery life over here is good enough to last you a full working day. I was getting like more than 7 hours of screen on time with my moderate usage. Now let me show you the gaming performance over here of me playing PUBG so that you can get an idea about the movements and stuff in the gaming. In my opinion gaming performance was good enough and no major lags or frame drops that I noticed. And this ROM comes preloaded with some specific apps like Launcher Launcher, this Leaf Peak Gallery app, Phonograph and Mocky Center is for checking updates. So yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching give this one a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't yet. This is Tito from Ketty and Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you later.